I'm Lainey Morales. And I'm Rico. And we are the Busking Bohemians. And this is uh, Minnie Pearl. She has gotten us a long way on the road. Um, we left Washington, D.C. November In November, 3rd. and we've been loving it. <laughs> November 3rd of 2017. We had lived in Washington, D.C. about five plus years, and uh, I was working on a project there, which came to an end. And we'd been talking about doing this and watching a bunch of YouTubers and figured out that this was the right time to do it. So we sold everything we had in our house. Everything. And had a humongous going away potluck jam, because we're musicians. And um, then we hit the road, and uh, we traveled all the way down the East Coast to Florida and then cut across um, this Gulf Coast and went to Texas where our family that's where we're originally from playing music the whole way yeah and it was a lot of fun and um, we stayed in Texas for a little while and then we went out to the RTR and met a lot of cool people and then we just kept going west and then we turned around and went back to Texas for a little bit and um, I have multiple sclerosis and fibromyalgia and a host of other ridiculous diseases and I'd gotten really sick when we were out in California and so we decided to go back to San Antonio and we stayed with Rico's parents um, in, a, in a travel trailer actually so it was kind of like we were still camping. Yeah, we were still camping. And um, then we found out through um, Aja's video about the Travelers Camp Fest and we just decided it was time to get on the road again. So here we are. I'm much better. I'm not as sick as I was months ago, and um, so it's pretty exciting. And, and Travelers Camp Fest has been great. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it really has, and we've played a lot of music here. Oh my gosh, have we played a lot of music yeah. here almost every yeah. night. Y'all are wonderful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and we went busking in Leadville, which is just north of us, and Salida, which is south of us. So people who might not know about busking, can you explain a little bit? Rico? Busking is performing on the street. Four tips, hopefully. Four tips. <laughs> All and those, entertainment. Salida was a bust. We didn't get a dime. No. Um, but Leadville was much We never found better. a good spot. No. <laughs> <laughs> so busking is how we pretty much make our living. But Rico's a chef, so every now and then he I'll take will... a chef gig and make some money while we're on the road so we can get back out. Yeah. So. And Colorado's perfect for that because there's a lot of seasonal work. Yeah. In fact, I had an interview today, and the chef just told me that for the next two months, he really needs somebody for the summer, but as soon as winter arrives, he's not going to have many hours. So that's perfect so, for us. Yeah. Because we wanted to be here through the summer, and when it gets cold, we want to leave. So that's perfect for us. So do you want to describe a little bit of what you're traveling in and how it works for you? Sure. We have a 5x8 trailer that we're pulling with a Mini Cooper, and we are living in a tent. We carry two tents with us just in case. We have had to use it before. Uh, one of the tents more highly rated, guaranteed not to leak. The other tents larger. And we just like to have a lot of room because we have a twin size cot with an air mattress Queen inside size. of it. Queen size, that's right. Yeah, we're too big for yeah. twin size. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can edit that, right? <laughs> yeah, it's good, it's all okay. good. But uh, yeah, it's the most comfortable bed we've ever owned. Yeah, and we've owned some really good beds yeah. too. <laughs> we've been together 11 years and we've had some really great beds, but this, it's a Coleman queen size cot with a built-in air bed. It's fabulous. Yeah, it goes flat. It's easy to change out, you know, or to patch up. Yeah, we love uh, it. Battery operated pump makes it easy. So I do have one question. Since you do boondock out of a tent, mm -hmm. you need places like this? Because I know you couldn't do it at Walmart. No. No, we have to yeah, find we an have actual to find campground. A campground. Yeah. yeah, a place where we can set campground, up. Campground, BLM. National Forest Land. Uh, and we've watershed. never had a problem. Never had a problem. Never had a problem. Well, there's been times where the wind was a lot. Uh, actually, our very first day was a nightmare. <laughs> we almost gave up after that. It was Assateague Beach in Maryland. <laughs> and there were wild horses. It was a full moon. It was that beautiful. beautiful. It was pristine. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, like, the wind started picking up, and we had, like, 40, 50-mile-an-hour wind that night. Wow. That was our it first It destroyed night. our tent. It was the first time that we'd ever set it up. And I talk about that on our YouTube channel, which is Busking Bohemians, and the blog, which is buskingbohemians.blog, the tent-killing winds, part one and two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
so, so it's happened to us twice. It happened to us in Joshua Tree as well. Yeah. But we learn a little more every time. It's a huge learning curve being yeah. on the road. Yeah, it is. And, you know, if we would have given up after the first day, we never would have met all these wonderful people such as yourself and everybody that put this together and RTR. We wouldn't have known about any of yeah. that if we had given up. Yeah. So it's a lifestyle uh, choice for sure. Yeah, the wind seems to be picking up now. The Mother Nature, it looks a pretty good. dark right this second. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> oh, there's Ooh, thunder. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wrote this song pretty much as like an ode to the new American dream. Oh, no. I played it in a protest band back in D.C. and we decided to bring it on the road. It's called The American Way. Mm. It's the American way, yeah. 